Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. It's a lovely sunny day, so we're going to mess about with some liquid metal. Yeah, we've got some gallium here. It's just. Oh. Do you know when you expect something to be much lighter <laughs> than it is? I thought it was going to be like water and I had to lift more than I thought. Feel how heavy that is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So gallium is a metal, it melts at a pretty low temperature. Looks almost exactly like mercury, but won't kill you as much. Yeah. Unless you were made out of aluminium. And or then you... it would kill you. That's true. Yeah. It like melts aluminium, doesn't it? Just it just corrodes it to crumbles. Yeah. So similarly to what we did with the paint on the speaker, we're going to try it with this gallium because I think it'll behave quite differently. Yeah, it should just look like a load of liquid mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is a lot heavier than paint though, so I'm wondering how it's going to look on the speaker. Why don't we turn on the phantoms and have a little look? Yeah. Alright. This is so weird. Oh, oh, the thud of it. It thuds down, doesn't it? It's like globbing. Look at that, how globby it is. You look like a, a DJ of science. <laughs> science, science DJ. <laughs> okay, we'll start low and I'll increase the volume and then we'll see what you want, okay? Top. So pay attention. Yeah. More than that. Whoa! It gets so much brighter. Yeah. Yeah. That's hurting my eyes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it went. I was a bit worried there because it went, huh, oh, it's not working. So I turned the volume up and tried it again. And it just went, bop, 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 bop. As, you were, as it was all flying up in the air, I was looking at this and I was like, how much of this is aluminium? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Stop. <laughs> oh, but look at this. What is happening? I, that has got to be a compression nightmare for YouTube. What is going on? It looks like evil, it looks like aliens, <laughs> doesn't it? Maybe what they should have done to the T-1000 is vibrate him to death. <laughs> like, he would just turn into this. Maybe they use sound guns on him. Can you imagine if you tried to simulate this with a computer? Just all those infinite reflections, reflections reflecting reflections. I think the GPU would just melt. It's just like, it's just a hot mess. It's so hard to, to see depth and like what is what. It's, it's, it's almost, almost like we're shooting on a monochrome camera. It looks 2D. <laughs> That's really weird. Again, I still don't really know what I'm looking at. <laughs> this might be 2D? the most unwatchable video we've ever made. Yeah, like little solder balls. Yeah, like I'm just, like it's like I'm like rolling up bogeys of of gallium into like bigger bogeys look. <laughs> look yeah, at that. Are you having fun? Yeah, this is so satisfying. You have no idea, look. Whee. It's like a cross between like silver and milk. Because <laughs> it has like a skin on it of slag that you have to sort of wipe off with this slag remover. <laughs> it does look like slag, and then doesn't you just, it? just like wipe it clean and it has a nice fresh mirrored. It's so satisfying to do that by the way. Yeah. That might be the most gallium I've ever seen in one place. When we started filming today, it was the most gallium I'd seen in one place. I'd never seen gallium before. <laughs> it was like, that's a lot of gallium. Turn it on the speaker. It was uh, very hard to look <laughs> <laughs> The sun's right there. It's like someone's using their watch in class, you know, when you like twist it around, except it's like... <laughs> All right, let's try a nice pour. Okay, you ready? Yep. Go for it. Good. I think that was quite, quite a good one. Yeah? Excellent. How do you feel about it? Yeah. Good pull. Good oh, <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to grab you. <laughs> Ready? Yep. So I predictably focus just in front of that lip. It does come out. Oh, look at that shine there. Look at that. Can you see the camera in the reflection of that? I think you can. You can see like the trees and the sky. You can probably see me. Three suns there turning into. <laughs> that is mad. That is, is definitely how the T-1000 was born, isn't it? It is. It must have been cast just like this. It looks like one is being made. Or it looks like... Oh, weird. That's that quite thick. Really weird. Do you know when the T-1000 is transforming into like a different shape? Like, ooh, yeah. it looks like that. They were really accurate with that back in the day. Oh, look at those lens flares rippling off it now. It's very cool. And it's like slowly sort of globbing into the bowl at the bottom there. Yeah. I like how the stream gets thinner and thinner as it goes down. 
and then it turns into like a torrent at the bottom. Look at that, look at that on the right hand side there, where it's all bouncing up. Maybe we should go in, in tight on that area and just get one, sh one more pour, just from like in the bowl. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one. Stop. Looks like the moon. It does, I don't know. Like, what Once are we looking again, at? Such a weird sight. Whoa. Oh, whoa, that's weird. They look like diamond. That was like... a pear. That was like a plum bob from The Sims. Whoa, whoa. that's amazing. That, whoa. It looks like something like from Krypton in Man of Steel. Yeah. I'd want to reverse it and see what it looks like to, like, oh. it looks like it's sucking up all the energy. It's weird the way it, it breaks up differently to water. Like, it's too heavy for air to get under. So it stays as, like, cones. That was a cool bit. It's just not really bouncing. It's sort of just falling into, it's just, it's just like really heavy water. Yeah. It's all, like, kicking out in the middle of it. And now it's because it's deeper. It's like, because it's so heavy, it's forcing all the other stuff to the side. It makes these weird vertical ripples coming out. Like, it's like all the horizontal ones, and then you get this vertical one that's sent out. I'm pouring it slightly forwards because that's the nature of pouring. You can't just pour directly down unless you're yeah. far away. So it's creating all these like shooting forwards, all this gubs, that's just creating little giblets I going everywhere. That. I'm always a big fan of filming liquid, but weird liquid is even better. Mm. Are you excited about this? Yeah, I really am. Oh, look at that, like, creme there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that mirrored surface, look at that. Yeah, that's me, look. Oh, I bunched it. I could honestly film this material all day. Until... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you may have seen this in the background of the video so far. We thought it'd be a good idea to wreck this drum uh, goodbye, sweet drum. But see if we can get a good hit from underneath, just like when we did that powder paint. Yeah, except powder paint weighs a lot less than, you know, metal. Yeah. So I'm going to pour it on here, and obviously we're in back garden, so it's not even completely level. So it's going to be like deeper over here than it is over here. I'm going to have to go underneath the drum skin with a spanner <laughs> to try and hit it. And hopefully we'll catch most of it in this child's paddling pool. Yes. All right. Probably only get one shot of this. All right, so the first test is to see whether the drum can even hold oh dear. this much liquid. God, it's all pulling to the back. So that I don't get caked in gallium. You need to tuck you in? Yeah, just tuck me into bed. Nice. <laughs> That's perfect, actually. Okay, go for it. Whoa. A little bit of rain. See how it sends it all out to the sides? Yeah. And then it hits. That's mental. That's so different to Do you know everything why? else we've put on this. It's because the drum isn't level, right? So the way you're seeing it ripple to and then bounce up is the edge of the actual liquid. Yeah, I was deliberately focused on the front edge because I wanted to see all those spikes in focus. You see them all raise up at the front there. That is cool. Oh, man. Cool, those. It ripples out and then it like, bounces back in, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's what it looks like to hit a sheet of liquid metal from underneath. <laughs> I think I could look at liquid metal all day. Well, not all day, but maybe 20 or so minutes before I got bored. I can't even look at it now. <laughs> the sun's right there. Why it was... are you st you're not even stood in it. I was wondering why you stood us here. I guess the only thing to do now then is to scrape this gallium back into a container. Hopefully yeah. we've still got enough because I want to use that again in future. That was That was amazing. Pretty sweet, isn't it? If you enjoy watching liquid metals bounce all around, let us know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe, whack that picture of a bell for some reason, and we've got a second channel too. See you in the next video. You're gonna get a wicked tan. I am. Shall I just stand <laughs> here? Like It'd be like five minutes on a Sunday. You know when people have the, that like card? Like the mirror thing, yeah. yeah. Just have gallium. <laughs>